Now, throughout NFL history, there's been plenty of well-known athletes that actually succeed enough to go pro at multiple sports. Starting off the list, we may have one of the most exciting players ever to play primetime Deion Sanders. Growing up, Sanders was already showing potential as a tremendously gifted athlete while he was young. He'd already began playing organized football and baseball by the age of just eight years old. By the time he reached high school, he was playing on a football, baseball, and basketball team, and even going all-state in all three sports. Dion loved sports growing up. He emphasized his will to become the best he could at anything he tried. When he said, I never wanted to be mediocre at anything, I wanted to be the best. Now, Dion is most known for his football ability, but interestingly enough, Sanders was actually drafted in the 1985 MLB draft right out of high school by the Kansas City Royals, but decided not to sign and attend college instead. At Florida State, he continued to play both football and baseball and even joined the track team, which helped him win a conference championship. While his best sport was clearly football, Sanders didn't want to limit himself and decided to go pro in both baseball and football. Sanders was eventually drafted to the NFL in 1989 and was the fifth pick by the Atlanta Falcons and went on to play for the 49ers, Cowboys, Redskins, and Ravens as well. He was a lockdown cornerback during his career and he was also a dangerous punt returner. Now in 1994, Sanders was awarded the AP NFL Defensive Player of the Year and he went on to have a Hall of Fame career. And he's widely considered the best corner ever in NFL history, where he became a nine-time first-team All-Pro Bowl selection and a two-time Super Bowl champion. His on-the-field talent combined with his love for the spotlight made him an icon for future NFL quarterbacks. This famous routine of high-stepping and dancing into the end zone has been emulated by countless players who grew up watching it. But as Sanders was so legendary on the football field, his baseball career never really reached the same status. Dion was picked up in the 1988 MLB June Amateur Draft where he was taken by the New York Yankees at the 30th round. He played two seasons with the Yankees playing in 71 games but hitting just a .178 at the plate. He eventually played for the Atlanta Braves, Cincinnati Reds, and San Francisco Giants in nine seasons from 1989 to 2001. To this day, Sanders is still known as one of the most versatile athletes to ever play in the NFL. He played offense, defense, and special teams while managing to play baseball at the same time. He managed to once play in an NFL game and an MLB game in the same day, which is one of the most ridiculous beats ever in pro sports. Now with Kyler Murray recently making plenty of headlines with the NFL, interesting enough, he was also drafted to the MLB. He was adopted to his role as a starting quarterback for the Arizona Cardinals, but at the same time, he was actually drafted by the Oakland A's because of his known versatility of an athlete that he is. Kyler's rise to fame started when he was a young kid in Bedford, Texas watching some of his family excel in sports. He watched his father lead the Texas A&M Aggies as the starting quarterback, as well as watching his uncles who played baseball professionally for the Giants, Rangers, and Cubs. He eventually attended Allen High School in Allen, Texas, and as a senior in 2014, he was named the Gatorade Football Player of the Year. His team won three straight state championships in a ridiculous 43 games in a row. Murray missed only one start during the streak and finished his career with the perfect 42-0 record as a starting quarterback. Murray was ranked by ESPN, Scouts.com, and 24-7 Sports as a five-star recruit and the best dual-threat quarterback in his class. And in May of 2014, he committed to the Texas A&M University to play college football and college baseball. Kyler went on to have a tremendous career in college football after taking the starting role at quarterback from Baker Mayfield, who won the Heisman and was drafted by the Cleveland Browns. Kyler then went on to win the Heisman as well, which was a rare back-to-back -back for the Aggies. But Murray winning the trophy ultimately became a deciding factor which sport he wanted to excel most at. But still, the Oakland A's selected Murray with the ninth overall selection of the 2018 MLB Draft, and he signed a contract with the Athletics which included the $4.6 million signing bonus. Kyler did continue to play football though prior to his junior year with the football team and he would report the spring training in 2019 to begin his professional baseball career. But following his Heisman Trophy win in 2018 season, he would forego his senior year and enter the NFL draft instead. If football were to end up not working out, the A's still have rights to Kyler if he decides he wants to play baseball again. But Kyler was selected inevitably as the first pick of the 2019 NFL draft by the Arizona Cardinals where he's shown potential here at the beginning of his professional career. Interestingly enough, Kyler also became the first athlete ever taken in the first round of multiple sports. And that'll wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're a new viewer, and we hope to see you in our future videos.